Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is Dawn with Watch Woman on the Wall. I am outside and it's cold. It's gonna snow soon. We're expecting a snowstorm tonight. I don't know how many inches of snow we're gonna really get, but I thought I would come out here to the creek because I haven't done it in a while. But I had um, a dream last night I'd like to share with you. Uh, this morning, I had totally forgotten about it. And then um, I was talking to my husband if I'm sh shaking this camera, I'm sorry, it's cold. <laughs> I was talking to my husband this morning and all of a sudden, all the details of this dream came back to me and I remembered every last bit of it. And then the Lord gave me the interpretation for this dream. And I want to share this as an encouragement to the watchmen. I believe this is what this dream is all about. But I'm going to um, move the camera and turn it the other direction because I typed all of this out because it's so hard for me to... I um, remember details on the spot as far as, um, you know, I'll, I'll film it and then later on I'll remember, oh yeah, I forgot to include something. So instead I thought I would just go ahead and type it out so I don't forget anything. So I'm going to read it to you while you look at the pond or the creek. I had a creek today. It's probably 30 out or 25. I don't know. The wind's blowing. So I'm going to read to you. Okay. So I dreamt I was at my Nana's old property. I used to live there and there is a 150 year old schoolhouse and a caboose on this property. I dreamt that my uncle Roger had set up a stage outside in front of the schoolhouse and he handed me a book of songs to choose from to sing karaoke. Now I went through the whole book getting increasingly restless as I couldn't find a song I recognized or was inspired by. Boy, my hands are shaking. It's cold, guys. <laughs> I just wanted a new, somewhere quiet, and a new view. Anyway, so I couldn't find a song I recognized or was inspired by. Then suddenly a storm came up, and lightning hit the line of pine trees near the house. I so remember hitting it often when I used to live there. I just knew it was going to hit me next. Sure enough, I heard a crack, and immediately felt the bolt hit me. It was like it happened in um, slow motion. Instead of feeling a shock, though, I felt only warmth, like I was in a bubble or being shielded. Right after it happened, people rushed over to me, and I asked, I asked if I had any marks on me from the lightning uh, bolt. They were shocked, um, and I didn't. I had no marks on me. Now, they were shocked I was alive, and so was I. Then that's when I realized I'd been supernaturally protected, and I woke up. As I thought about the dream, the Lord began to unpack its significance to me. I asked the Lord, what, what was the deal uh, with the karaoke setup? I felt him telling me to remember how I felt when I was looking for a song to sing. One I knew or was inspired by. This represents the current scenario many of those who are watchmen and women, myself included, find themselves in. If you are looking for in proclaiming the soon coming of Jesus to snatch his bride and the wrath of God to come on the world thereafter, you are a watchman. But for me personally, as I look to encourage those around me, I'm looking for inspiration in the word, listening for the Lord. And there are times when we go through a dry spell and do not hear from the Lord or need encouragement ourselves. I was looking for a new song. When the storm came up and the lightning started to hit the trees, it was sudden. These represent the attacks of the enemy. They come on swiftly and seemingly out of nowhere. I was watching the attacks on trees, which represent those who are spiritual giants, those who hold a standard or flag, those who rally the saints. They stand out in a crowd and are easy targets for the enemy. I knew that though I didn't stand as tall, I was to expect to be attacked. 1 Peter 4.12 says, Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. When I got hit by that lightning, though, I only felt the sensation of warmth. I did not feel the brunt of the attack. This is because Father God has given his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. We cannot imagine what it would be like if he did not protect us to some degree when the enemy attacks us. I am reminded of 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 9 that says, We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken struck down but not destroyed not only did the father protect me but there wasn't even evidence of the attack no marks on my body 
This too reminded me of when Jesus went to, was in the fire with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and they came out with so, without so much as the stench of fire on their robes or smoke on their robes. The Lord then directed me to the minute details of the dream, as at first I thought eh, they were of insignificance. First, I, he directed me to the name of my uncle in the dream, Roger, but his first name is actually William. So I looked up both names. William means resolute protector or strong-willed warrior, and Roger means famous spear. It was the warrior holding the spear. The one who handed me the music was my protector and the one who fights for me, Jesus. That is when the Holy Spirit reminded me of the 150-year-old schoolhouse and had me look up the importance of the number 150. What I found was that the last numbered psalm in the Bible, Psalm 150, is considered the most often, the one most often set to music. Wasn't I unable to find a song? Wasn't I searching for a new song? So I looked up 150 and this is what it says. Give me a moment here. And I've read 150 before in the past. I know I have because I recognized it and smiled when I saw it. I read it to you guys. And I'm going to read it again as soon as I get situated here. And the header on this was, Let all things praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty firmament. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with a lute and harp. Praise him with a timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This message, I believe, is for all who watch for and long for Jesus appearing. The attacks of the enemy are increasing. We can see them all around us, and we know we are targets. We are also being tested. And yet the Lord is protecting us from the brunt of these attacks. We may feel the heat, but the restrainer is still at work. In the meantime, as we await his return, we praise him in the storm. We take the song he's given us. Remember, he was the warrior with a spear. We let that song that he's given us be our spear. Psalm 104 says that we, when we thank him, we enter into his gates. When we praise him, we enter into his courts. We are ushered into his very presence. That new song I was looking for to sing, well, I think Psalm 150 is a good place to start. I hope this blessed you all, and I want to encourage all of you, whether you you have a platform and you use it, or whether you, you just view other people's and you pray in the comment sections and you leave comments to encourage people, as long as you are looking for the soon coming return of our Lord, for his appearing, that blessed hope of his appearing, then you are a watchman or woman. I love you all and stay encouraged. We will sing our way through and we will worship our way through in this time when attacks are rampant. Do not be discouraged. He gives us everything we need pertaining to godliness and life. I love you all. Maranatha.